Hey neighbor, welcome to the Homestead Hood. I am Jeff, and yesterday, um, both of my oldest boys worked. Uh, one worked with a friend of his and his dad. Um, I'm not, I think they were putting in a fence. And Cowboy went over to my parents' house, took the trailer over there, and they filled up this entire trailer with branches from their backyard, mostly from an os tree, or os trees, if you guys know what those are. They're like hybrid willows that grow super, super fast and are super, super dirty. Um, if you plant them out in the middle of nowhere and the dirtiness is not a problem, great. If it's in a yard, eh, I don't know if I'd plant them. Uh, we didn't know that when we planted them, but they grow really fast and they create a vision break and shade and stuff like that. So they filled that up. They're going to have to empty that at some point, but we're going back over there again today. Um, both boys are going to be at my parents' house. They're going to be doing some weeding. They're going to be um, doing some spreading of some mulch. And because uh, both of them have gotten a little bit more interested in earning money and you know they've got things they want to save for aquaman's interested in buying a car soon and uh cowboy would be interested in getting like a little mini bike or a four-wheeler so we're gonna head over there we're gonna load everybody up head over there see you guys in a bit <music> So this is what they're going to be doing. They're moving this mulch, they're going to be putting it all over the yard. Hey, I'm doing it. You're helping a little bit now. This is actually, we brought this over. This is actually my parents' wheelbarrow from a million years ago, because no. I'm a million years hey, old. This one, this one right here is mine. And I've got another one this size that's black and metal. This is a plastic tub yeah. one. Works pretty well. Um, if you guys have never done mulch yourself before, flat shovels, and big shovel, shovels work. So I got this one uh, in an auction. It's kind of like a coal shovel type. It's a little bit wider than your standard Dad, flat shovel. Dad, so why do they have eyes and we have doors? Uh, because they need it. See, this is just your standard because flat shovel. It's a little, bigger. little bit narrower. That's because it's bigger? Yeah. The best shovel you can get for doing mulch, if you're able to have it put on a cement pad, is a coal shovel like this. You can get a massive amount. Yeah. Okay, stop putting it in there because it's full already. You get a massive amount of mulch in one shovel full. So these are those os trees I was telling you about. They are literally, I'm trying to think how old they are. They're 15 years old and they've been that tall <laughs> for probably seven years. Um, and you can see they tend to have a lot more branches. My dad has limbed them up more so that they're more tree form, but they can be more of a um, windbreak. I know like some farmers put them all along their field as a windbreak. So what we had done is we pushed the trailer back here yesterday because we didn't want to drive it back here. So we just pushed it back here. They loaded all the branches into here. We then pushed it back. My dad made sure he balanced it enough so he could still um, lift the tongue. And then uh, we brought that home last night, so the kids are going to empty that sometime tomorrow. But then they're just going to start putting mulch here and around here. Um, but when you get good at doing mulch, you can kind of almost shovel it up. What we had did, done was we would just run. When I had my landscape company, we'd have two, me and my, my partner, Dan, we'd have two wheelbarrows and we'd load it and we'd run and we just load it as fast as we could go and we'd run and we'd dump them all around. And then when we got it mostly dumped, we'd take turns starting to spread it with rakes. Um, but the formula is 100 square feet. You know, you can cover 100 square feet. I think it's like two or three inches thick with um, one yard of mulch. So it's a beautiful day to work. This is where I used to run my business out of. My parents, we call it the shed. It's like an extra garage. We'd pull the trailer right in here, you know, come in here in the morning, get the crews out. You can see we have still got a, um, an X marked pistol grip mower. I don't like the pistol grip as well. You can see the pistol grip right there. Toro has what's called their T bar mower. It's much more intuitive to use. I think it's safer, like for, I wouldn't let him use this mower. I let him use our commercial Toro mower because 
I think it's a lot safer. So this is this is where the empire began. Thank you.